I'm squeezing, let's go, take it from me. That was way too fast. Too fast for me. Good. Ripping through. Throw your hips. My decision was based off the people, you know, starting with Coach Collins and then Coach Shea. Uh, close friend of mine, knows those guys. Coach Collins is one of the best guys, you know, around in the business, one of the best head coaches. You know, he believes in developing the players and taking them, you know, from high school and, and develop them, developing them from young men into men when they leave here. He's, he's brought a, a great thing to the defense. I mean, he's very knowledgeable on everything. And uh, so, you know, when he tells you something, you know it's, it's got to be correct. So you trust him. When you get pulled and he pulls you forward, I need to set this one up. I worked with a couple guys that know Coach Collins, and I interviewed with him down at a convention. And within the first two sentences, I didn't let him know, but he had me hooked in because I've never met a head coach as humble as him. And he just straight up talked to me, and I had a great interview with him and a great feel, and I could tell he cares about the players, and, and I was locked in the moment I started talking to him. Uh, when he first came in, it was, it was nice. He was, you know, he was, he's younger, so was, we could, like, relate pr pretty well. And uh, I liked that he had the D1A credentials coming from Buffalo and stuff like that. It was nice. I felt like, you know, as an O-line, we really needed some, some help getting with our assignments and the necessary everything right up front, so I felt like uh, it helped a lot. I've been fortunate enough to work with the best in the business the last – you know, 10 years of my life when I was at Cincinnati working with Coach D'Antonio and Brian Kelly and, and Bob Diaco, some of the best coaches in the business. And they've taught me a lot, and hopefully I can carry that over and help this team uh, in a big, you know, in a big sky championship. As I bring guests up, you know, from Ohio, they, they don't know, they don't understand what Colorado's about, and they see how beautiful it is, and they see the clear skies, the, the green campus, and, and it's a large campus too with, with about 12,000 students, if, if I'm correct. And, uh, I love our practice facilities. You know, our two turf fields, our two grass fields. It allows us to compete uh, in the in the Big Sky with all the other teams and in our facilities here, the Butler Hancock Building, and and as well the locker room. You walk into our locker room, you'd think that you're you're in a 1A school. You know, I, I was surprised how green the grass is because on our <laughs> campus has the greenest grass I've ever seen. Uh, but you know, I was really surprised how upbeat the guys were after the season we had last year. The guys really have the best attitude I could possibly ask for. None of them are lazy. I don't have any poor sports on it. I never have problems in terms of effort and attitude. And it was right from the get-go. So those guys are workhorses. They wanted to get better the second I got in. And it made my job a lot more fun when I don't have to worry about anything but getting them better. And what was what was the one thing, the first thing that you wanted to instill in your guys when you first got here? Toughness. Toughness and fundamentals, two things that I believe are key in defensive play and defensive end play. We've improved so much since the spring, even when he first got here. I mean, our alignments are, are you know, we usually line up perfect, or not perfect, but line up right every time, and just everything's a little bit better. I wanted to instill an attitude on the offensive line, a meanness. I always say mean and nasty, and a relentless, a relentless attitude towards the game of finishing. You know, I talk about. Northern Colorado offensive lineman and what that means and I keep telling them it's something different we need to make it different it's not like the rest of the team offensive line is very different I don't want to be like the rest of the team I don't want to be like the rest of the big sky I want everyone to look and go that's what a UNC lineman is and it's just a relentless mean nasty guy that just finishes and and I'm really trying to instill in that on them and I think a lot of the guys are very close to what I want but we're working at it every single day we had a uh, decent game as an old line against Utah and a better game against CMU but uh we're uh, trying to come out and be the nastiest people on the field, and that's what he's trying to preach to us. The players are a reflection of the coach. If the players are low energy and players are nice guys out in the field, then that coach isn't doing a good job. And I'm hoping, based on my attitude, that they're high-flying guys who are mean, nasty, and, and do some bad things up there. And that's, that's kind of why I instill, and I have to give that example every single day and every single play. I, I love what I do. I love what I do. I love my guys. I tell them that, you know, if they need me 24-7, I'm there. I'm just a phone call away and I'll get there. And so I love my guys. I'm passionate about making them better, better people, just like Coach Collins. I try to spur off Coach Collins. Everything that he's trying to teach me as a coach and teach the players, I'm trying to do the same exact thing. So I want to make them better men and I want them to be better football players. So it's really not something that you have to think about. You just go out there. You love to be on the field. You love to be in the meeting room talking about football. And maybe it's, you know, Coach Hensel talking to them about development off the field and social life. You know, you love talking with them about that if they want to sit down and talk about something. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not a conscious effort. It's just, it's there. It's every day.